So with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it to record, like I said before, the whole screen. So when I click the whole screen, it means the whole screen is live and whatever you do or say or drag into this screen will record it. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, display two and then I'll open a basic PowerPoint presentation and go through how to make a basic recording and how you can use some of the tools on it. Okay, so I've set my screen recorder up, so it's recording the whole of my second screen. And as you can see here, it's saying to you, uh, this is how long it's running for currently. So, once I'm up and running, if I want to, I can uh, go full screen with my uh, presentation or or not it's up to you it's complete with you i'm just going to leave it like this for the time being because i want to go through the settings on here so with this there's a little option for draw zoom in zoom out if you want your webcam to show up mute the sound or the sp or if you want to mute the uh, actual mic but keep the video running so if we click on the draw you get these little options here and you've got a few things that you can do so you can actually uh draw directly on the screen if you want choose a color uh, so you could be kind of talking away and writing whatever you want and if you if you want to do that you can uh, there's also i mean there's a few different pens so this one's actually uh, for highlighting areas uh, again you can just undo it or you can clear it all as well when you've got different uh, kind of lines and stuff that you can use the dead basic it's kind of basic but it's all you need really uh, there's a text option so you choose your text uh, font size and you click uh, uh, and start typing away and I've got it set to green at the minute which is great and black if you want to do that uh, you can do and so on I'm just going to clear it again so you can type on as you as you're recording and doing this as well uh, there's a rubber to rub stuff out. You've got an arrow key, so if you want to draw some uh, arrows and stuff, and you can decide on how thick your arrows are, and, and so on and so forth. Just undo that, more clear it. You've got like basic shapes and stuff, and you can decide again how thick or thin they are and what colour they are. Uh, I quite like this tool here. So this is just a general move tool, but what you can do is, if you're talking about something, you can click uh, numbers, the stuff that you want. And then you, if you want, you can unclick it, but it's still live. And uh, let's say you want to re-talk about a different area. You can kind of do that again uh, and so on. And then you can use the direct move tool and you can move these around if you want. And let's just clear them all and unstop that as well. And again, uh, it's only basic, but uh, that's all you need really, you know, as you're going on. And if you want to start explaining a slide or if you want to do arrows and write on the description or number certain stuff, like I said, what you're talking about. So that's just a quick zip through the drawer option with all the different options in there that you can use. Uh, like I said, and again, you can zoom in on different areas as well. So once you've done this video. So once you've done and you've stopped your recording. Uh, you get here which is your history what you can do is you can change the path uh, you can edit the video uh, you've got more options here so if you want to convert to certain stuff upload to YouTube to your OneDrive Dropbox or if you want to copy it to your clipboard this is roughly the size the duration the resolution if you want to delete it if you delete it from your history it's deleted from the history but it's not deleted off your desktop so it's still there now a nice little feature is this edit one so if you click edit it does this and what this is is an option to trim your actual video so it might be let's say if you've got you've i've done all these slides i've got 20 slides but i want to send a client the information i was talking about just on four slides so i could just kind of grab these handles here look if you see there's a green one for beginning red one for end and i could say okay i'm gonna just send him slide four and when i press save what this will do it will save to the desktop this new trimmed area uh, but it won't save over the top of your original you still got your original so i could say okay i can rename that once i've saved it or i can name it here as uh, slide four 
and then I can say, okay, I want slide eight as well. So man, pretend this is slide eight, save it again, slide eight, and then I can go and say, okay, I want to send him slide 12. So then I could save it again and just send him those three slides so we don't have to watch the whole thing, but the stuff that's relevant to him or to the tutor or whoever you want to send it to, they can just watch those bits. And so you've got three separate mini videos as well as your original. So that's quite a good, cool little uh, option to use as well if, if you want. So yeah, once I delete it from there out, it's gone. You can't actually uh, edit it because it's not in there. I mean, I don't use the trimming bit that much. I've used it a few times. I, I edit all my videos if I need to edit them in a different application. But usually I use it for uh, my students online. So when I'm on Teams, because uh, 3D is quite complicated, so I get lots of questions. And when they're on Teams, what I do is if they ask me a question, I will, and it might be hard to create something quick or they don't know how to use a certain tool, I will quickly open uh, the 3D application, open our screen recorder, record maybe 30 seconds, 40 seconds, how to do something because they can't figure it out and then post it onto Teams for the whole group to see with a comment about what it's actually answering, uh, what it's actually doing. Uh, so it's there all the time and then on to the next one if they have a problem I could do that and it's really quickly because I don't have to edit it, I just have to press record then stop, it's on my desktop and I drag and drop it into Teams and I just keep using it like that and it works so, so it's really good because also because it's on teams like that students can just go back to teams and look for that video that if they forgot how to do something so we'll have a series of videos on there for them to use so yeah that's that's ice cream recorder i've zipped through it in these series of videos but it isn't hard like i said and once you've watched these videos that i've set up you'll be just recording your own videos uh hardest part is just listening to your own voice you just need to get over that at first i was just a bit cringy thinking oh i sound silly but i just got over myself and just carried on doing it it, it it's just a means to an end and it makes my life so much easier so hopefully it'll make your life easier as well so thanks for listening